So when it comes to getting motivated to keep yourself fit and healthy, too many people have the unrealistic expectation that it means always being really excited and super happy about you know eating well and, and, and going to the gym or going for a run or whatever the case may be. But guys, that's not always the case. So today I'm going to show you five of the most common strategies that we see with our most consistent clients when it comes to keeping themselves motivated to turning up week after week and getting that those benefits of a consistent long-term health and fitness program. So let's get stuck in. So guys, step number one is you need to get clear on the vision in your head of why you're living this healthier and an active lifestyle. You know, whether that be being a role model for your, your family and your children, whether it's to manage a medical condition on the advice of your doctor or your GP, or whether it's just because you're sick and tired of feeling, you know, crappy, low energy, and um, maybe you don't have the confidence that you, you used to have. Whatever the case, guys, you need to set that vision. And if it's a strong enough vision, it will help you stay motivated when, when, when times get challenging and it would be easier to maybe quit. So set that vision for yourself. So step number two, guys, is to find yourself um, a great community that fits in with you, your character, and the goals that you're looking to achieve, you know? So many people try and go it alone, and, you know, unfortunately, 99% of the people, guys, they, they, they end up failing because they're, they're, they don't have the, the, the enjoyment factor, they don't have the support and the encouragement that a really good community will give to you. And, you know, you are going to be challenged along the way, and if you know that there's a bunch of people there waiting for you and you're going to have a bit of crack and, you know, a, a bit of banter with people, it just makes the journey so much easier. So if you look at anyone who's succeeded, guys, rarely will you f find anyone that's ever done it without the support of a great community. So find yourself a community. So guys, step number three is um, you must have a say in, in what you're doing. Again, guys, you know, if, if you're just turning up to, um, to your, your, your fitness classes, to your, to your gym, and you're just being shouted and roared at, um, you know, that's obviously not going to motivate you to turn up for very long. So what we tell all our clients is that you always have to say, if, you, if you're having a day where you're tired, if you're having a day where you're full of energy and you want to drive it on, you know, your input is so important and your coach needs to be listening to what you're saying. So again, if you're having a day where you're tired and you turn up and you're, you're just physically drained after a bad night's sleep, for instance, your coach should not be just brushing that off and, and telling you to push harder. You need to have a say. And we know that if you have a say, motivation level to stay on track with your program, go through the roof. So have a say, guys, in what you're doing. Okay, guys, step number four is to, um, to find yourself a coach, guys. You know What a coach does is a coach can look at your situation in an unbiased, um, from an unbiased perspective, and they, they, they can guide you in, in ways that you won't see yourself. So again, a coach is also going to hold you accountable. They're gonna, they should be following up with you, making sure that you're on track with your habits, that your, your training and your goals are on track. And you know, I hear it all the time, you know, I booked the appointment and I, I, I really didn't want to come because I just wanted to watch something on TV. But because I booked the appointment with you, Steve, I turned up. Guys, accountability and, and support from an unbiased perspective is, um, is, is it's priceless when it comes to getting to your goals. And that's what a coach can provide, guys. Um, so again, step number four, guys, is find yourself um, a good coach. So step number five, guys, is, is to take your time. And what we coach clients do um, when, they, when they start with us is to focus on building one habit at a time because we know and we see um, from, from years of, of experience that the people who come in and they want to change everything overnight or in the space of a week, they want to stop smoking, exercise five days a week, you know, stop eating chocolate and, you know, all of a sudden they're only eating salads. We know that those people, guys, don't last. And the reason they don't last very long is because they take too much on board and they get overwhelmed by too, too much change too soon and they hit they hit their first obstacle guys and they drop all the balls that they were juggling and they go right back to square one so guys when you focus on one habit at a time it gives you a sense of, of victory so for instance we start people off with exercise and then we work on drinking some water and it's very easy to accomplish these two things but it sets the, the foundation for, for taking on bigger challenges because they said they were going to exercise and they've done that Geez, I'm off to a good start. They said they were going to drink some water, and they'd done that. Geez, I, I, I'm getting a bit of momentum. And this momentum, guys, gives them a sense of achievement 
that, um, that the people who take on 20 things never get. And then if, if you don't have too much to focus on, when you hit um, a, an obstacle or a challenge in life, um, which you are, you, you are going to, to face, it becomes a lot easier to just manage one or two things and to keep, that, keep on track with them than it does if you were trying to handle 15 things. So guys, step number five is to take your time and work on one habit at a time to build gradual, sustainable um, momentum um, for yourself. Guys, hope you found that useful. If you want to find out more about what we do, head on over to our website and, uh, and we'll talk to you on the other side. Bye for now, guys.